Hey, Chef, it's a great question. The so-called Reddit rebellion is putting hedge funds in a position they don't often find themselves in, playing defense. Every day this week, I hear about several more funds that are suffering significant losses as a result of volatility in names like GameStop and AMC. In some cases, it's changing the way hedge funds do business. Short seller Andrew Left has made a lot of money by betting against companies and publishing research to make a case for other investors to follow along. After being squeezed in GameStop, his firm known as Citron is switching gears. As of today, Citron Research will no longer be publishing what can be considered as short selling reports. The Citron narrative is going to change and have a pivot. Left said the firm will now focus on long opportunities or bets that the stock will go up. Even as hedge funds took a hit worth $20 billion shorting GameStop just this month, many are sticking with the trade. The amount of short selling in the name has barely budged this week, despite the sharp move higher in the stock. Chef. Leslie, on the issue of regulation, what might the SEC be looking at here? So regulation actually remains a really big question mark here. The SEC did warn that, quote, extreme price volatility has the potential to expose investors to rapid and severe losses. But so far, it hasn't stepped in, at least not in a way that's been made public. Some experts say that the regulator should have been more forceful in halting trading in certain stocks. My view with respect to the SEC is what it should have done several days ago is used its trading suspension authority. I think the SEC had an ability and has an ability to create a more powerful pause as these companies blow through the circuit breakers. But timing is everything, of course, and the SEC is currently operating without an official chair. Uh, President Biden has nominated Gary Gensler to run the agency, but his confirmation remains in limbo, Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.